Okay, so good evening everyone. Last time I already recorded a tutorial video for uh, the tips or the step-by-step -step guide on how to create a certificate. This time I'm going to share with you the step-by-step -step guide on how to create or to make the minutes of the meeting. So let me share with you my screen. And now you can see my Microsoft Word document. So the first thing that we should do is uh, to check our setting if the target uh, paper that you're going to use is a legal or a letter. So let's go first to layout and then change the size of your paper from the default size, which is a letter, we're going to change it to legal. So we will change the height from 11 inches, we will change it to 13 inches. And then uh, we will follow the same margin, which is an, a normal one, one inch in, both, in all sides. Now we have top, bottom, left and right okay so we are done let's go back to home and then uh, the first thing that we should do is to insert uh, here the line number so we click insert or rather we click uh, layout this uh, layout tab click layout tab and then you can see here margins, orientation, size, columns, breaks, line numbers, hyphenation. So with what we're going to do is to click line numbers and then we choose continuous. So there we go. You can see it now, number one. And then you type there your example, your title, control E to make it uh, at the center. And then uh, we use Arial. And we increase the size from 11, which is a default one. We change it to 12, and then let's make it bold. So like, for example, uh, your title there is uh, minutes of the meeting. Okay, that's it. And then after we are done, we enter twice, and then or we enter once, and then type there uh, the date. For example, we have November 24, 2020. And then you can put there the venue. For example, CSAL uh, College Room 101. And then you put there your attendance. So attendance. You can see because we started with a bold, bold uh, font, then everything follows. So we will change this. We highlight first and uh, click letter B to uh, change no, the layout or the format instead of uh, having it bold. This time only the title is bold, and you can see there is a bigger. Uh, line space no, in between of each line. Uh, we'll see because when we highlight this one and click layout, the default the default spacing after is eight points. So we will make it zero. Okay, so you see the difference. Okay, attendance. So we have uh, example. The present is uh, for example. Uh, Mom Garcinia, example. Uh, Mom Ifondo. Okay, Sir De La Serna. And Sir 
uh, revealed. So those are the members who are present. No? And then we can now start no, with the agenda. Example, the agenda uh, there. Uh, enter number one, and then we put there a uh, call to order. Agenda number two, reading of the previous meets. The number three, a business matter. Number four, we have a report of the treasurer and other matters. And the last is a journal. Okay, so the last uh, portion or the last part of your meeting is adjournment. Okay, and then uh, business matter. And so forth. So you can see at the left side, there is continuous uh, numbers. And then let's uh, add now the header so in order for you to insert the header just double click here at the upper top part of your document to open the header now it is open then we will uh, insert shape for our logo and then we will uh, remove the outline and then we will uh, put or shape a uh, fill, okay, we will fill the shape with picture. So like for example, we have the logo of Santa Ana. Then we copy this shape so that uh, we can create another logo. Then we will click now the insert. You cannot see the or we only have one logo. And then let's insert word art for the title. Like for example, we have there, Colegio de Santa Ana de Victorious. So let's uh, adjust. Let's uh, also adjust the size because it is too big. Hey, there we go. We also adjust the. Okay, so we now have the header, and when you proceed to the next. Example, we proceed to the next uh, line. Oh, okay, when we proceed to the next page, still the header is there because it's uh, already part of uh, each uh, document's no, uh, heading. And this time, we'll have to put the watermark. So what shall we do in order to insert watermark? Let's go to Design tab. Design tab. Again, Design tab. Click Design tab. And you can see at the right side, no? you can see there watermark, page color, page border. So we click watermark. And then like for example, the want to uh, custom a watermark. So click custom watermark. And then if you want picture watermark, you can click picture watermark and then select select picture like for example the picture that i'm going to select is the uh, sample this one and then click apply and now i have this watermark in my page okay So let me 
Okay. So, it's uh, clear to all of you how to make minutes of the meeting. We have there the header, the title, the date, the venue, the attendance, agenda. Okay, we can make agenda. Uh, we can emphasize this one by making it bold. And then we have there the line numbers and we also have the watermark. Now, if we want to change the watermark from picture to word, then go back again to watermark inside the design tab and then custom watermark. We will change it into text watermark. So we click text watermark and then here is a text portion. Okay, we type there, like for example, we have confidential. Confidential minutes of the meeting. So that's the text that you want to, uh, I know, to insert as watermark. So you want a libre, you want an auto size to color, you want to change the color. From gray, you want it to be yellow, like for example. Then click apply. So now you can see there the confidential minutes of the meeting with the color that you picked. Okay, then after which, save your file. Don't ever forget to save your file. Control S. Okay, so click home. We have to click uh, use control S and then change the title of your uh, file name if you want it, minutes of the meeting. And then example, you want to add the date, November. 24 okay and then choose your location and then click save okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned a lot